हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स फॉर बीटेक फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन एडिक्वेसीज ऑफ क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स एंड द रीजन फॉर डेविसन जर्म एक्सपेरिमेंट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इन ऑर्डर टू अवेल मेनी मोर बेनिफिट्स ऑफ फ्री फुली सॉल्व मॉडल पेपर सोल्यूशन टू एनी प्रॉब्लम पी डी एफ नोट्स एक्सेट्रा let us begin classical mechanics as you must be familiar with classical mechanics which deals more with motion of bodies under the influence of forces or with equilibrium of forces all balanced on it and leading to the very famous newton's laws or equations of motion but classical mechanics failed to explain phenomena like black body radiation photoelectric effect stability of atoms and molecules etc all these led to the origin of quantum mechanics because classical mechanics was failing in, on its concept to explain photoelectric effect which was carrying the particle nature of light or other radiations like black body radiation etc so the need for new type of physics to explain wave nature came up davison and germer is one of the very famous experiment which explained the wave nature and its full agreement with de broglie wavelength let us begin this is the experimental setup of davison germer experiment this experiment proved the wave nature of electron through electron diffraction concept okay the experimental setup consists of a tungsten filament bulb is here it consists of this is the tungsten filament which will be heated with the help of this power supply on heating it will emit electrons they will pass through an accelerating node here and they will get velocity and emerge out as a fine collimated beam fall on the nickel target kept here after falling on the nickel target they will get scattered in various directions a faraday cylinder rotating faraday cylinder the movable detector here is your rotating faraday cylinder will collect these electrons which are falling on it and then with the help of a galvanometer the variations or the electron falling intensity will be noted the beam of electrons will have an intensity which will be measured with the electron detector when it is connected to a sensitive galvanometer by moving the detector on the circular scale at different positions that is changing the angle between the incident and the scattered electron beams the intensity of the scattered electron beam is measured for different values of angle of scattering so hope it is clear to you that the filament is going to emit electrons which will pass through an accelerator emerge out as a collimated beam fall on the nickel target from here they will get scattered in different directions and the movable faraday cylinder will detect the scattering with the uh, uh, along with the intensity and output graphs will be plotted for different voltages now as we can see that for different different voltages the graphs are changing but at 54 volt the graph is having a very specific curve or a bump and angle here is 50 degree after which again the graph is obtaining its original pattern that means our whole study will be concentrated on this changing position here so we observe that the variation of intensity of scattered electrons by changing the angle of scattering by changing the accelerating potential difference the accelerated voltage was varied from 44 volt to 60 68 volt etc and the intensity of the scattered electron 
for an accelerating voltage of 54 volt at a scattering angle of 50 degree saw a very strong peak or a bump in the graph. This point is important because you will use this point right now to form a follow D Broglie wavelength. And this happened because of the result of constructive interference. And after that, the peak was taking its normal path. So let us find the wavelength here. Have a look at the diagram here. As you can see, the incident beam, the diffracted beam, angle between them is pi and both this side, the angle is theta. So let us find an expression for the angle. Angle of diffraction is phi, this one. The glancing angle here and here is theta. So theta plus phi plus theta is equal to 180 degree. That means... 2 theta plus phi is equal to 180 degree. Just a minute. 2 theta plus phi is equal to 180 degree minus phi. So theta is 180 minus phi upon 2. For diffracted electron beam appearing at phi equal to 50 degree. Where do we get this phi equal to 50 degree from? Here. These plots which were plotted here phi equal to 50 degree and the voltage here is 50 volt. So putting this phi equal to 50 degree here, we get, we get the expression as theta equal to 65 degree. Putting this theta equal to 65 degree in the Bragg's equation for maxima in diffraction pattern. 2d sine theta equal to n lambda. And for simplifying the expression, we take n equal to 1. Then the d Broglie wavelength and the distance between the various layers has been given to us as 0 0.091 nanometer. This is for the nickel crystal. So it becomes 2 into d, which is 0 0.091 into sine 65 degree, this theta, which we have found. The lambda comes out as 0.165 nanometer. Hence, d Broglie wavelength as obtained from the experiment is 0 0.165 nanometer. Let us see whether this lambda is in agreement with the d Broglie formula or not. We know the very famous de Broglie formula is lambda equal to h upon p, where p is momentum. So we can also write lambda is equal to h upon mv, where h is Planck's constant, m the mass and v the velocity. Now from the plots, we know that the sharp peak is occurring at 54 volt or 54 electron volt, where one electron volt is equal to 1.6. 6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. Hence, from the formula of d Broglie wavelength lambda, we have lambda is equal to h upon under root 2 mk, where k is kinetic energy and m is mass of the electron. So kinetic energy, if we observe, is small compared with rest mass energy of emitted electrons. Under relativistic considerations, we write the formula as lambda equal to h upon under root 2 mk. Putting the numerical values, h is Planck's constant, 2 into mass of electron and k the kinetic energy at 54 electron volt. We get the answer as 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter, which is in full agreement with the experimental value. Hence, this experiment gives us the same value of lambda according to the concepts of de Broglie and the experiment. Therefore, de Broglie wavelength of electron determined by davison germa experiment and that calculated from de Broglie hypothesis are in full agreement. Hence, the results of davison germa experiment confirm completely the de Broglie concept of matter waves. Thank you.